We are here at the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix. I'm here with uh, Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist for the state of Michigan and the Chief Executive Officer for the Downtown Detroit Partnership, Mr. Eric Larson. And uh, Eric, let me start with you first. Uh, the Detroit Downtown Partnership stands with, you know, for business, civic, uh, philanthropy, uh, everybody getting together for a better community downtown Detroit. Absolutely. I mean, the Downtown Detroit Partnership is the steward of downtown in many ways. Very much like this race is, a, is a, the engine for automotive, the downtown is the engine for the state. And we can't do this without all of these partners and without events like this. And the thing that's so interesting about this weekend is it's a big coming out party for the state of Michigan. Obviously, the lieutenant governor and I have been having had, have had big, bright smiles the entire weekend. And it started Thursday for us because we started by raising some really important dollars for Belle Isle which is a community asset, and it demonstrates the importance of the way that this community works together. And it's not just in Detroit, it's throughout the state. Lieutenant Governor, and uh, again, with the work that it's been done uh, with Belle Isle, can you discuss the the importance of the, uh, uh, the partnership, the downtown Detroit partnership with the state? Well, first of all, this is a, a weekend of celebration. And so it's great for everyone to be coming together, working together in the downtown Detroit partnership, representing a nexus of collaborators from every sector of our state's economy, from every sector of our service economy, really just um, embracing one another and embracing the opportunity we have to showcase the beauty of Belle Isle, the beauty of Detroit, the beauty of Michigan. I can't thank Eric and his team enough. Um, this, is, this is what we're all about. We work together, we can do more, we can accomplish more, and we can go farther. And uh, Eric, can you discuss a little bit about maybe the uh, current projects that you have coming up after the Grand Prix? So we have a whole summer of activities, as you know. I mean, one of the things that came out of the pandemic is the importance of being able to get together in safe environments. And there's no better safe environment than a public space. And so we do over a thousand public events that are most of, them of which are free to the public in our downtown parks. And then we obviously have a bunch of activities around small businesses. We're launching a spirit card, which is going to be geocoded to Detroit businesses this week. That will be allowed you know, both employers and employees as they return to the city to be able to, you know, be, you know, to infuse some really important economic um, activity back into the community. Now, both of you being involved in sports, you in basketball, and you have had in the past with uh, uh, the villages and, of course, Dan Gilbert, um, race fans right now? Absolutely. I've been coming to the Grand Prix since I was like four years old when it used to be downtown. So to see the race evolve and grow, something I'm proud to share with my own children who've been coming with me now since 2019. And, uh, it, it's impossible not to be a race fan on a weekend like this after a year like we've had. So yes, we are definitely race fans. Hey, the island looks great. You know, uh, get an opportunity even after the Grand Prix to come out, visit Belle Isle. And uh, is there a way that uh, people may be able to get a hold of more information for Detroit Downtown Partnership and how to become involved? Sure, you can visit our website, which is downtowndetroit.org, and uh, all the information is on our website. Uh, there you go. Gentlemen, thank you for your time, and I uh, look forward to seeing you. Tommy Morris with Detroit City TV. And